in this game, though. I thought that this one was really to get involved. Augsburg at plus 175 at home against the Gladbach side who have lost more than their goals, their spirit, their energy. Gladbach are at plus 145. The draw is at plus 280. The under over is set at three with the under point in you the way that minus 118. Augsburg to score twice is at plus money, plus 107. Pavlos, Augsburg versus Gladbach. I'll take the home side, pick them, plus 100, but are not quite enough to press the button. Yeah, that was my initial play for this match, but then I looked, uh, you know, I started off by saying that Gladbach are Bundesliga Stelta, right? You know, they can maybe beat Bayern by 3-1 to in Munich and then lose to Heidenheim by 4-0 to at home. Uh, they're just this side, and uh, I think they tried to stop the rot uh, this season by just shipping off everyone they 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 let everyone go they brought new players uh i was doing some some scouting on the players that they brought and um uh, that guy kvankvar out transfer i'm not sure how, how the pronunciation is he he seems like a promising player but he seems to be getting a yellow card every other game so uh he must be a hothead <laughs> i i just have to admit i haven't watched any of his highlights but uh his stats say that he he gets an awful lot of yellow cards so I'm not so sure if uh, Gladbach are going to be finishing, uh, you know, their matches with 10, with 11 players on the pitch. Uh, but if friendlies are any indicator, they did a good job. However, you know, take these results with a grain of salt because Gladbach, as I said again, they're traditionally one of the teams that make you fall in love with them, and then they bite you. Uh, they 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 break a big big fat hole in your in your pocket. So yeah. um, Augsburg. You know, I have to say, I know what, what I'm getting myself into by uh, picking a play in this match. Uh, Augsburg, Augsburg uh, they had the worst XG difference at home last season with minus 0.52 per game, which is what was the worst in the in the Bundesliga. And Gladbach won just one away match uh, last season and had the fourth worst away XG difference with minus 0.79 per game. So... Uh, this is a match where I believe that both teams are gonna, you know, start fresh. Um, they know that they both know that there, there might be some relegation issues for them, um, you know, later uh, in the season, especially Augsburg. I wouldn't be surprised if Gladbach somehow got involved in a relegation scenario. So, uh, must they won. I think both teams will will go in, uh, you know, to get to score goals and just avoid the loss. Uh, they will both go for for the win. But Augsburg, you know, last season they didn't keep a, uh, they didn't keep a lot of clean sheets. Just six in 34 matches. 18% is really low. Uh, just five clean sheets at home. Um, you know, and Gladbach, not good uh, defensively, offensively. I'm they're a question mark for me. I think they're going to be able to score goals, but uh, having replaced your entire starting you know five at the top you know at the, at the offense with five new people they gotta take some time to gel so um i think there's gonna be goals here i'm gonna take another another um both teams to score and over two and a half i think there's gonna be goals here but to be honest i'm gonna play devil's advocate on myself i wouldn't be surprised by a goalless draw okay listen the biggest microscope for me uh, has Gladbach underneath it uh, for the first few weeks of this season because they can put in a 50% performance. They can jack it in very early. But the thing is with Augsburg, Alex, is they do fight. And if they don't want to be involved in a relegation uh, battle come next sort of March, April, then get off to a good start. And against Gladbach, who maybe have not jailed or settled, this is a great opportunity. And then Augsburg, draw no bet, plus 100. Looks like a good opportunity for them. Uh, so I I don't understand, uh, to be honest, why uh, Gladbach are favourites on the road against uh, Augsburg. Uh, probably because uh, Augsburg uh, uh, finished just one point uh, above the playoff rele relegation playoff spot uh, last season. But that's not the case. Uh, the, the record uh, uh, of Augsburg against Gladbach at this venue is really good. And on top of that, uh, I, I want to talk a little bit more of uh, what is happening right now with Gladbach. Um, so let's say that uh, they, they lost uh, their, their, their best players, like Turam, Lars Tindel, Ben Saini, uh, Jonas Hoffman, right? And uh, Jordan Bayer. Uh, to, that's potentially to 30 goals taken out of that side. Uh, exactly. They have or a five. new manager. They have a new manager. This is the first season of Gerardo Sewane, former Leverkusen manager, in its time. I know that he was uh, all summer long with uh, uh, his players, but he needs time. This is a 
this is a competitive match. It's not friendly. It's not anymore uh, train uh, uh, to train or stuff like that. On top of that, um, Christoph uh, Kramer is missing to do a, do a knee, knee injury. Uh, the first goalkeeper, uh, Jonas Omlin, sustained a shoulder injury in the uh, in the cup match one week ago or this week. I don't know when they played it. Uh, okay, not to say even about Stefan Leimer uh, that uh, was diagnosed with uh, uh, cancer, but uh, that's not the point here. Um, the thing is that apart from a player there in front, everyone is new. And what will tell what uh, will tell you what that will tell you is that they will struggle and mostly on the road. Augsburg is not a brilliant uh, team, but they are a tough team to play against at home. So Gladbach will suffer with new players, with new manager, with a <laughs> with a bad performance last season. I still think that uh, uh, they are relegation candidates if they don't. Uh, uh, if they don't move uh, more on the transfer market this summer, or maybe they will move in the winter, who knows? But to see them here, okay, slight favorites because not big favorites, but still favorites on the road to Augsburg, this screams to me a 1 1 draw. Of course, that I will cheer for Pavlos uh, for goals here, but this game looks like a 1 1 draw. Who will score for you? Play out that only scored three goals last season? <laughs> and on the other side, Augsburg, such a bad team, right? Fighting for relegation. Okay, okay, they have a good record against Gladbach, but still, I think that both of them will be very happy with the 1-1 one -one draw here. Yeah, I think Gladbach certainly will be, because uh, the problem is when you have new players, sometimes for the first 35, 40 minutes, they run around like chicken with no heads. So they <laughs> then burn out in the last 20 minutes. And the thing is, with Augsburg, they go for 95 minutes. Even if they're 2-0 down, they still believe that they can get something. Now, nine times out of ten, they get absolutely nothing. And that's why they're always in that dogfight. But they're in a dogfight because they do know how to fight. Um and that's how they survive. Let's have a little look at the official picks here because it's Augsburg on nothing for me because I just need to watch Gladbach because they're one dangerous side to your pocket. Both teams to score an over two and a half at minus 125. Let's, I'd like the, maybe 2-1. I'm going to write that down. 2-1 <laughs> home side. At plus 175 and at plus 100 for draw no bet. Augsburg could be another way to go. Um, Brian says Alex is getting a lot off his chest. He's not going to take that Dortmund shirt off though. Let's move on. <laughs> 